how to become a model in three steps. Step one is to take some digitals in front of a white wall with some natural light like this. This is the lighting you want, and this is the lighting you don't want. You should take four different shots like this. And step two is to take your measurements. For females, this is what you'll need. And step three is to submit. Here's a list of the top modeling agencies. And you can literally just Google them. We'll use Ellie Models as an example. Just go to their website and then look for a button that says become a model or something like that. This is where you'll put in your contact info, your sizes, and those photos you just took. Good luck. Things you should know about the modeling industry before you get started. Number one, you do not need an agency to start working. Start researching in these areas. Number two, you can beat height and weight standards. Seriously. Number three, most important one, you do not need to pay to be a model. Most likely a scam. Three ways to increase your chances of being chosen for a modeling job. Number one, do not wear makeup. It's usually an immediate red flag for the casting directors. They want to see what you naturally look like, plus they're going to see pictures in your portfolio where you have it on. Number two, wear a basic outfit that shows style. Wear something that shows your figure. I'm going to make more videos on this. Number three, make sure your social media accounts are a good reflection of what you look like and who you are. Think of your social media as an extension of your portfolio. You don't need a huge following or anything, you just need to be able to show a little bit of personality. Model myth number one, models make a lot of money. Supermodel Linda Vanderlisa famously told Vogue, we don't wake up for less than $10,000 a day. So you'd be forgiven for thinking all models are millionaires. Every year, Forbes lists the world's highest paid Uber models. In the last US census, the average yearly income for models was $18,000. Fashion's main event, Fashion Week, is not going to add to that bottom line. A fashion show could pay you a few hundred dollars, if you're lucky. But most designers pay in clothing, not cash. One early year, after walking for almost every major fashion house, I was $40,000 in debt. So when and how do models make money? I'll explain in my next model myth. Model myth number two, high fashion is good, commercial is bad. The public assumes that more money is earned with prestigious high fashion clients than with lower priced commercial clients. The truth is very different. The more prestigious the brand, the less money you will earn. Think about it, you need them more than they need you. Booking the cover of a well-respected fashion magazine will only earn you enough to pay your cab ride to and from the studio, but not much more. Most high fashion models have to also straddle the world of commercial modeling. They need the mainstream clients to pay their rent and save money. Those commercial clients pay them large sums of money because they saw them doing aspirational work like runways or covers. If that same model does too much commercial work, then the high fashion world might no longer want her. And of course, commercial clients soon follow. It's a constant balancing act and it's exhausting. When I first started modeling, I had no idea what kind of outfits I was supposed to wear. Now that I've got some more experience, I figured I'd show you my three top tips for styling a model outfit. First, your outfit should be body conscious or form fitting. Skinny jeans or cut off shorts are usually my go-to. On top, I usually go for a bodysuit or something else form fitting. Tip number two, you wanna keep your colors relatively neutral, but sometimes I like to spice it up and wear a graphic tee. Tip number three, gray, white, and black never go wrong, but you might want to avoid wearing crop tops or anything too contrasting because it actually can make you look shorter. A better option is a bodysuit with cohesive colors because your silhouette will be one long line. How to pose like a model. For this first pose, you're gonna sit down and part your legs. A trick to elongate your legs is to pop up on top of your toes, then lean into one shoulder, and that's how I got this shot. This next pose can be a little bit dangerous, so please be careful. Basically, you just fall and then catch yourself, and that's how I got this photo. If you're wearing something flowy like this, you need to bring life to the outfit, so I want you to throw it, like over and over again. And that's how I got this shot. Nailed it. Yes, I see you. Next time I better be seeing you in Vogue though. This is what I spend in a day on food as a model in New York City. For breakfast, I made a $2.12 yogurt bowl and I had my 92 cent iced coffee while I sat through some Zoom classes. Then I just cooked my lunch, I grabbed some basil for my garden and my total was 82 cents. After that, I got ready to go run some errands with my friend. We grabbed kombuchas, but I only drank half of mine, so it was $1.87. Then I did a workout at the park for free, grabbed some groceries, and headed home to cook dinner. Tonight's meal was $1.43. I had a few cookies for $0.75 cents while I finished up some homework. I wanted ice cream, so I blended up one frozen banana for $0.62. Cents. I finished off with a glass of wine for a total of $8.94. Dahlia has modeled with long hair for her entire life. Last night she decided she wanted to change up her look for today's photo shoot. We're gonna go do it. One. Oh! Yeah. Ray, you got a little shower.